Welcome back to Yitzi. Today we're going to be making spicy oil fish. Its real name, Shui Zhu Yi, literally translates from Chinese to water boiled fish, which sounds lame and does not represent what this dish actually is. So because I can't say Shui Zhu Yi over and over again in Chinese without butchering it, and I don't want to say water boiled fish, I'm going to call it spicy oil fish. Originating from Sichuan province in China, this fiery and flavorful dish is a standout in Sichuan cuisine, renowned for bailing its bold and spicy flavors. Spicy oiled fish is a relative newcomer to the cuisine scene, as dish's popularity across China began in around 1983, when a young chef won a prize in a Sichuan food competition. The dish was originally designed as a beef or pork dish, but the chef's new take on it, using fish, won him the competition. The dish was designed to be spicy, and we'll show you how to increase the spice and where you need to add your peppers. Except this pepper. Don't ever use this pepper. A Carolina Reaper is a beautiful fruit that is hiding a package of evil inside, and it's the hottest pepper in the world. So let's start with the fish. We use this sea bass that we got from Costco, but you could pretty much use any white fish or freshwater fish that you want. Cut the fillets in half into long strips, and then cut the strips into two or three inch long chunks. We use three fillets in total. Put your fish in a bowl and firstly add one teaspoon of white pepper, then half a teaspoon of salt, and one egg white. Massage all that together by hand. Then you can add in two heaping teaspoons of cornstarch. Keep massaging all that together until the cornstarch thoroughly covers the fish. So let's take a look at the next ingredients we're going to use. We've got baby bok choy, garlic, green onions, ginger, white sesame, cilantro, and a bowl full of bean sprouts. We're also going to be using Lao Gen Ma chili oil with black beans, and Yuan Chung chili bean paste. After washing your baby bok choy, cut or rip them into three pieces. In a large wok or similar large pan over medium to high heat, start with a little bit of oil in the pan and then add in a teaspoon of the bean paste. Then add in a teaspoon of the chili oil. Stir those both together and then start adding in your bean sprouts. After letting the beans cook for a little bit, add in the baby bok choy. Then add in enough hot water to nearly submerge your vegetables. With the vegetables done, remove them from the water with a strainer, leaving the water and spicy mixture in the pot. Put your vegetables into your serving bowl. Cover the water mixture with a lid until it returns to a boil. Then add the fish to the water. Don't add in all your fish at once. You should just put in enough to be submerged under the water, let those cook, remove them, and then add in another batch of fish to cook those as well. As it's cooked, add your fish to the vegetables in your serving bowl, and then when it's all done, pour the juice from the pan over the whole thing. Now we're going to finally dice up our garlic and our onions. What we're doing next is basically making the spicy version of our universal sauce. The only difference here is we're going to be omitting both the types of soy sauce. You can find the video for our universal sauce in our playlist if you're interested in getting more info. Add your green onions and almost all of the garlic onto the fish. As well, sprinkle on your ginger. We've also added about two tablespoons of red chili flakes. Uncle Fred took this pan outside because he's going to be cooking the capsaicin from some red chili peppers into the oil, and he didn't want to fumigate the rest of us in the kitchen. In this pan is about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of cooking oil. This is the part where you can make the dish as spicy as you want to by adding in as many peppers as you want to into the oil. I get to hurt people from all over the world every single day. I might have a little uh, sadistic <laughs> streak to me. Add about two teaspoons of white sesame. Then add in the rest of the garlic. And then your peppers of choice. 
Here Uncle Fred has used red chili peppers and about a teaspoon of Szechuan peppercorns. Crank up the heat at this point by adding in all the peppers you want, all the way up to like Indian levels of spicy. Let that all cook together in the oil until the white sesame turns golden brown. When the sesames are golden brown, add the pepper and oil mixture to the fish and vegetable bowl. And there you have it, shejuyu, or water boiled fish, or as what I've been calling it, spicy oil fish. Here we've plated it as a complete meal alongside our jelly noodle salad and our chive dumplings. You can find all of these recipes on our playlist. Please let us know if you've tried any of these recipes and how they turned out for you down in the comments. Thanks for watching! Subscribe and give a like if you want to.